We are playing guitar today for your aural delight. Aural? And uh, yes, I, 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 little snow I, owl. I, I, I pronounce the <laughs> AU quite differently to the O. Um, All but right. Here we go. Um, please uh, welcome to Anderson's TV. If you enjoy the content that we put out <laughs> almost daily, uh, please like and subscribe. Test and daily. Press that uh, notification bell. Because that's how you never miss out yeah. on Just amazing the, videos of press affordable the end gear. Of it. Just press the end of it. Press the end of the bell. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Blackstar um, must be celebrating their 11th birthday or 12th birthday this year, something like that. It's a really? British British amp company. I thought it must all. Um, no, no, no. And uh, they make a range of guitar amplifiers, but I think they're probably best known for what they do down at the more affordable end. Um, whether that be affordable valve amps like HT series or affordable um, transistor sort of digital amplifiers like the ID Core. Um, but this is a new range called ID Core V3. And guess which range it replaced, Pete? Exactly. See? See, how, <laughs> see that? He was like, where, where's he going? Whoa, whoa, where's he going? Whoa, oh, he's okay, he went for the Vulcan yeah. 2. No, I was going to um, go with that. But did you? Oh, I mean, you did that, horns? Hey, that, that one. Anyway, um, so. <laughs> Three amps in the range, little 10 watt at the back there, yep. with a couple of three and a half inch speakers in it, I think. Three, three, inch, three, three inch, inch, three inch, three, three inch. inch. Uh, don't short change the man. Uh, a 20 <laughs> watt, which I'm in here with a couple of five and a half inch speakers in, and the 40 watt, which Pete's in there with yep. the six and a half inch speakers. You know, speakers. half an inch makes it a whole well, difference. It's a whole really. inch, yeah, and there's two of them. So, I mean, that's two a inches. big difference. <laughs> two of them anyway, as well. So, Holy moly, you lucky boy. Let's see if I can give you a quick overview of the differences between the predecessor range and this one. So the, the format is all much the same. Um, I've had all the software improved. So tonally speaking, we've got some, some better sounds. Um, the software has been humongously improved. So yes. Insider, yeah, the butt of many gags yeah. over the years on Anderson's <laughs> TV, the old Insider software. Yeah. You can't get been, Insider anymore. No, you can't get Insider uh, anymore. No, uh, uh, it's uh, been replaced <laughs> by the with the substantially less innuendo named Architect. Architect. Not sure we'll get many innuendos out of that. No, certainly um, not. Oh, no, the you, good man? news for, for older <laughs> owners or you don't have to be older. You could just be an owner of an older version <laughs> of an ID core is Architect will work on older versions of ID Core. You are there with the speech. Uh, no, I've got today. a huge problem today. <laughs> um, but one of the new things, uh, which will only work with V3 and presumably newer products from there, is there uh, Cab Rig. Yeah. So Cab Rig is now a sort of an IR type you know, cab simulation. It's thing. not a loader, is it? It's not like it doesn't. You it's can't load you on. Yes, yeah, so it's own proprietary uh, cab rig, yeah. and it comes with the light version, which I understand doesn't work with version two, right? Yes, because this has got some extra fiddle and bing bongs on the top there. Uh, you have to have version three. I'll just do so. The basic overview here is all of these amplifiers have six different voices going mm. from warm sounds to heavy overdriven sounds, warm and clean to heavy overdriven, and we'll whiz through those. Each of those voices can have the gain, the volume, and Blackstar's infinite shape feature applied to it, which is like a tone control. 
There are then three banks of effects. You've got some reverb effects, some delay effects, and some modulation eject, 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 ejects. I can't speak. It comes uh, from an eject so you, seat. You can choose one of each of those, so up to three effects simultaneously as well. Oh, three at the same time? Yeah. Oh, that's you all can, right. I like that. You've got a tuner built in. Uh, you can store, what, however you set that, you can then store that so that when you go back to your voice that you like, it recalls whatever effects you like as well. Yep. Um, We've got lots of uh, inputs and outputs here. So we've got a USB uh, connection here. USB not only runs Architect software, but also works as an audio interface output as well for recording. I was going to add something while you're going to there, because I just wanted to add that it's got a USB mini plug on here. And anyone who's got a newer laptop will probably have a USB-C. And like us, had to find a solution between those two. And that that's that. They could have put Don't, a USB-C on it. Yes, I do agree. I, we're, we're, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it in there. Yes. It's 2021, USB-C, you know, it is the connection. So yes, anyway, whatever. jump onto Amazon or whatever your local uh, easy way of getting things is. You have to have an adapter, is, whatever. Because uh, it doesn't come yeah. with that USB no. cable. Uh, guitar input, obviously. Uh, then we've got a mini jack output here, which we'll be demonstrating in a minute, which yes. is the uh, cabinet emulated line output or a headphone socket, dual purpose. And then... We have something very exciting, I've never even heard of it before, called a TRRS output. That is a three ring version of a TRS cable, so TRRS. Um, and that uh, will do a combination of things. That'll either be a line in from your, yeah. you know, MP3 player to, to, to play yeah. music through this, or, and here's the clever bit, the TRRS bit, what the R -R 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 -R. For, or a way of outputting into your Android or iOS phone and live streaming your guitar playing uh, Sound. direct into the phone for yeah. doing like videos or YouTube live or whatever you yeah. want to do. But see, that was my that was my other question that this doesn't have a microphone in it anywhere. So if you are plugging, I don't know how that works yet because we haven't got to that point. We did uh, with Ben. We did the new. Uh, version of the acoustic amps. That, of course, has got a microphone line in, which means you can do a microphone and an, a, a guitar. Yes. This one has only got the guitar, so I'm not sure how that will work, but you can write that in the description below. Well, I wonder if the... Oh, there. I see what you mean. You know, so, like, so once you, you are... Once you don't have a microphone, whether the microphone in the phone might work, that's a different well, story. Presumably, I, the idea is, is that you can't sing and play guitar simultaneously whilst streaming. I don't know. We'll find well, out from Blackstar. Yeah. Um, the amplifiers run on... Um, Little mains adapters. Got a little wall watch. Uh, and there is an optional extra called a PB1, yes. a power bank one, which will, which is like a, a, a battery, rechargeable battery pack thing for these, yep. uh, which I believe give you another sort of seven or eight hours uh, use if you want to go busking with it. Or yeah, well, we showed like that, that in the video with Ben. And Did if you, you want to watch that video, you can click in the pop up banner up here. He's so professional. <laughs> right. I'm trying to do my car while thing. Now, do you, you know. want, should we do tones on this one or this one? Um, should we do it on the middle one? Otherwise, does it sort of a feel a bit? And then you can do architect on that yeah, one? Yeah, I can just show you. You do a little, few bits of tones there, and I'll, right. I'll do architect. I'll get my so, architect to stick out and uh, design a house. Here we something. go. So, warm, clean. Warm, clean. That sounds nice. Yeah, big um, reverb there. They, yeah, they do a good got, reverb. I've got on reverb on here. I don't know, hopefully you can see on overhead cam, you can see that's reverb, that's delay, that's modulation. When they're green, that means these two controls here are affecting it. If it's red, it means it's on. Uh, and then if it's off like this, it means it's off, funnily enough. Was that a good explanation? I, I mean, a lot of these kind of products work like that, so yeah. you probably get it, right? And uh, it's got a tap tempo there as well, worth saying that. So if you're using like a delay, uh, delay or tremolo yeah. or something, you can tap the tempo. Uh, we've got a uh, bright water clean. A little bit heavier it's, on the bass end. It's got that bucket tone, Lee. It has it's got that bucket tone. Uh, crunch. You'll notice as well, we are uh, playing affordable guitars. Just about to say that. I'm not adjusting anything here. I should be, shouldn't I? Um, you should definitely uh, give it some welly there. Uh, super crunch, super hour crunch. <laughs> Oh, 
lot of reverb on there. You think? also notice we've mic'd them up with two microphones because actually these are stereo. So they you are. get the stereo effects, you get the stereo tremolo, and that, that's really cool when you sit right in front of it. I, I, you know, I like to say that these are designed as a bedroom amp or no, whatever you call it. So when you're are. sitting in front of it, you get this humongous, like, wide spatial uh, thing around you that just puts you in a good mood. That was OD1. Sorry, that was Super Crunch. OD1. Oh, here we go. Ah, about to take off, I think, somewhere down here. Spread it. Woo! Yeah. And then OD2. Oh, that's a. Can't play that. Can I say if you can't play it, then I can't don't play, play it. it? I agree. If yeah. I can't play it, I shouldn't play it. I can't play this. You just keep going. Well, it's because I'm just practicing. It's the only practice I ever get. <laughs> so look, that was a very quick run through, but I think yeah. we'll let Pete. Um, I mean, we're not well, using the ten. And I'll be honest with you, it's because the 10's the least good sounding one of the three. Well, it still um, sounds all right. I plugged it in, it's fine. It's 115 pounds, you know, so for that kind of money, it's fine. It's got a little cool handle here in the back as well. You can, uh, they've got a little handle to lift it up and apparently you can get some sort of uh, aggregate or whatever it's called. What? So it's lot aggregate? To, yeah, isn't that called? It's like a bag of gravel. An aggregate, that's what it's called in Danish. So I think it's like a, it's word for something you put on there so you can like a shoulder strap. Yeah, like a, like a thing. It's just a thing. It's like a fucking attachment. Oh, so I almost swore then. Anyway, uh, let's move on to, uh, to have a look at the architect thing. So it'll probably come up here in the middle of us here. Very simple, super simple layout. Again, you get the voice uh, switch on the top um, up here. So if I, if I move my cursor over there, you'll actually see the amp is switching. Then you've got gain, you've got volume. Then you've got more equalization options than you find on the amplifier. You've got bass, middle, treble, then you've got your ISF, wah, wah. you've got resonance and a presence knob. So you can actually go in and a deep dive even more into a tones if you like. And then underneath here you get five pedals uh, where you can choose to change three of them. So you've got a tuner pedal, so if you click that on there, it's pretty simple. Uh, explanatory, tuner, it tunes up. It's easy to see, I find on here, than it is on the top of this because I didn't really see anywhere where it says what key it is. It, it which you demonstrated where you yes. turn, tuned it I down tuned half e a flat thinking yeah. I was in E. Because you're thinking you're in a different key. So anyway, so that's really handy to have that on the screen there. Uh, then you've got a noise gate. You can choose to put that on or not. You've got amount or, and sensitivity and that's it on your noise gate. Then you've got modulation where you've got your four different modulations uh, in here, well actually five because you've got a chorus or flanger as well. So phaser, chorus, flanger, envelope or tremolo. Uh, that's really cool because you've got a tap tempo here. So the tremolo you can, you know, you can, let me turn the tuner off and then down on the, on the clean here. And then let me just turn this cap off here because we're not, we don't use that yet. So that should just come off. Oh, there we are. Oh, let's see. Are we there? there we are. So here we go. You can see on the right side over here, where my cursor is now, there's the patches that are inside the amplifier now, so you can choose to have six. And as far as we are aware, you can have six metal tones in here and load them in, and then they'll be your presets when you that, turn the yes. dial, right? So oh. without, without Architect yeah. um, connected, your six voices are all based on the voices that are preset here. With exactly. Architect loaded, you, you can have an unlimited You can save amount. them all, exactly, yeah, you can as many as you want. Uh, but look, see there's a tremolo here. I'll simply just turn it on. Good sounding tremolo. There's a, there's a harmonic as well. It's 
It's nice, really nice sounding tremolo there. You got a phase on. Turn that reverb down a bit. That's a bit overpowering the plate. Oh, I like it. And as you can see here on the screen, so if I go back to uh, tremolo really quick there, you can see the little tap button lights up. So it'll it'll do its uh, pulsating uh, light around the tap, so you'll know that it works. It doesn't work with the face, so you can see it's just no light around the ring, no ringy lights. Chorus and flanger here. And apparently you can go to chorus side on there. Put it into the flanger. So that's cool. Uh, and then what you used in the beginning there, Lee? You used the. Uh... Envelope filter sneaking us there, uh, and then terminal we did. Uh, let's turn that off now. Go over to the delays here. Really simple. If you want to save any of this, you like, oh, like that. Save it. Boom. Done. Um, boom. Done. <laughs> delays again. Tap tempo. Super cool. Wasn't there a stereo delay in there somewhere? I wonder if we could get analog. That. Oh yeah, a little bit more spongy. Let's see, uh, tape. I think it is, I think it does the... No, I thought there was one that sounded like, what, what is well, there's the... a multi one here. Yeah, maybe that's the one. Nice. Sounds maybe, good. Maybe good it's a multi head delay rather than a yeah, stereo. Yeah, I like multi head. That was nice. And then you got a room reverb here. So basically, this is a deep dive into all the effects. So you can. It's much easier like that. There's a room. Small room. I can make the room bigger because I got kids, so I need more space. <laughs> If go. only life was that easy. <laughs> exactly, you're like, I'll have a bigger room. Oh, like, fantastic. <laughs> and there's a little button on the side of all the rooms and you just literally go over there and like turn the lights on. It'll you be just, like that one day. It's like a yeah. light dimmer. Uh, <laughs> I'm never one for room delay. I think it's a little... Yeah, it's, it has It has its... Uh, it has it, its uh, if it's not hole or spring. I made it. it. It is a lot tall, and then you got the spring. That's always a test with the spring. How that is, because it's pretty springy. I wouldn't springy. say it's that. You know, springy is uh, that's the term, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Move on to uh, some plates. I mean, that's, I'm just skimming through this I really agree. quickly because there's skim it. There's like a, a lot in like it. A like a stone <laughs> on a lake. I used to be good at What's that. What's your you world know? record for? I think you know. I've done probably over 40 for sure. No. Yeah, yeah. Because we used to, I used to live right in the fjord in Denmark, and it was just black blank, and we loads of flat stones, you know, the grey ones, mm. round ones, and we used to go down and throw. 40. Yeah, yeah. You get. All At the way what out point there. in your career did you go and you thought I could be a world championship stone skimmer <laughs> or a guitar player? I mean, and it's do a you lot. think you made Maybe the right choice? Maybe it was like a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? I could probably have uh, been rich today uh, instead. Big money in uh, big money stone, in, in stone skipping. You should start your own YouTube channel, Stone Skimmers. YouTube.com YouTube skip, forward skippers. slash skippers. Stone skipping. skipping. Stone skimmers. This sounds it's a really bit Danish, that. It doesn't sound Dutch. <laughs> right, so let's move on from that. Uh, again, you can back up your... My name is Stone Skimmerson. The Stone Skimmers. <laughs> uh, 
Let's have a stone skim <laughs> and a pancake. <laughs> so, okay, anyway, let's skip all the uh, equalization because you know what that does. Uh, here again up here is my bright and my crunch and my crunch and my super crunch and my OD1 and OD2. Ooh, I put on the plate. Let's just take that down a bit, innit? So, here's, so, let me just show you this. Here's the foot switch. I don't know what this is, foot switch is called. What is the F S, S, S 18? 16, this one. Oh, the manual says 18. Okay, maybe the well, ma maybe it. You doesn't matter. Potato, I yeah. Say. Uh, two, you say 18, I say 16. Let's just say two button foot switch. Yeah. You say 18, I say 16. <laughs> What's the difference apart from one being. Okay, so um, <laughs> there is. It, this layout of this architect program is super duper simple. So you can open the settings up here. Uh, you can see what model you have plugged into, so this is the 40, you can see uh, the range, you can see what version is there, and if there's, I believe, if there's any updates, you can go and get that. Then you've got some settings here, I'm running super wide stereo, I can use a reamping mode, so we can reamp back out. Mm. Uh, then there's a speaker mute, so I can mute the speaker. Genius. Uh, I don't know if I want to, you know, do it here, I'll just turn the guitar down. Anyway. Then you got foot uh, foot controller uh, mode, where one of them is the is the default mode, which will then allow you to change patches. So you can have patch one or patch two, and you can choose, as you can see here, which one you then want to go to. So let's say I want patch one to be clean, bright, and I want uh, patch two to be super crunch. So I'm here on the. So I've got that there, like that. So I can change it like that, or I can choose to go back in and change it uh, in an alternative mode, which means that it will scroll, ah. as you can see, through, Clever. up and down through my uh, patches that are within the amplifier. So you don't have to go, eh. you can just go up or down. And Lee likes to go up and down. Right. So there's a little planner up here, and I believe that's an online community, but you have to log in and you have to sign up for it. I haven't done that, so, but you can if you like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and there you go, that's the patches, and there is your uh, a cap rigged light, which I believe we should probably try in a minute. Well, let's, let's plug um, the, um, but, oh, hang on. Let's plug the, uh, before the we do, mini jack in and, and show them what cab rig just, sounds like. Yeah, but before we do that, I just want to show you that you can save your patches locally on your computer and then bring them back in, or you can see your amplifier patches and you can do a backup. So if you do three or four, or five, six different backups. And you that's can all free, in. right? Everything, yeah, this all, is all that free. software is free. You when get you buy all this stuff. Amps. Yeah, so that's cool. Got really it. simple to use. Nice design. I think even I can and see. And that work on even phone, I can, will it as well? Or I don't. Is it just, just, no, because this is USB, so I, ah, I don't. I think so this is have a it connected to a computer. This is a Windows or a Macintosh, you know, I thing. See. So you have okay. to have that, you know. Okay, <laughs> so Lee, let's try to plug in with the mini cable, and we'll be right back because it's right here. But we just need to turn it on, so you can hear what we. Yeah. Are hearing. Now you could, whilst Pete's doing that, by the way, you you know, you could record and use all of this stuff out of the USB output if you wanted to. Oh yeah, straight so into your. We're doing it out of the mini jack output so that we can record it into the same interface we do everything else into. Exactly. But it's up to you. Right, Lee. So um, anything that plugs into something, I'm always a little bit, because mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. but this is um, very simple. So we go back to the cap rig light, which comes with these, with the architect that works with these amps. But I'm not sure if there's a cap rig thing for other amps, is there? Do we know that? Is there like a cap rig not light? Oh, I see. I think there was. There's a paid version. Oh, I so guessing. you can pay for one. So you can I pay see. for more, more cabs. I suppose. More, 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 more. Okay. So anyway, super simple. Let's pick a 112 combo. You can choose between three microphones: dynamic, condenser, and ribbon. I think what he meant to say was condenser. Condenser. Yes. Condenser. Uh, Something like that. <laughs> it's like you say al aluminium. 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 I can't say it. Uh, you can choose if it's going to be off-axis or on-axis. Jimi Hendrix style, you got lows and highs, and you got a level, right? So let's just let me just pick something because there's no point in going through all of these really. So you know, I like an open back cab with a ribbon microphone with the microphone on axis. Everything at twelve o'clock there, a little bit of reverb, maybe a bit of uh, tremolo, maybe I'll gain it up a bit on here. Let's see what it does. And 
And remember, people, you're here now. You're not hearing this amp anymore. You're hearing the well, you are the mini jack. Yeah, you're, you're hearing literally the sound going out of the mini jack, wee, into the interface and into your go? device, literally like that. Wee. Uh, so no microphones anymore. So and so we're that... hearing it through a pair of spe studio speakers in the in the room. A lot of the bass end on a lot of the patches seems too much. It seems to be like it's what, like it compensated what? for for maybe a small amp or something. Maybe it's the sound has yeah. been done in a head on headphones yeah. or whatever. It kind of feels but like sometimes you just back the off a little bit of that. And, good. You know, you can. There's a resonant and presence here as well, which is very handy that you don't have on the top of the amp. So. I guess if you if you are looking to get an interface and a and maybe you've got a computer with garage band on or whatever garage band, you know you garage plug that in band. there, you get all of the sounds and you can you know you can faff around with that. It's a good little tool to have, you know. Let's can we just have a little architect direct DI clip, more of a rock tone, and then yes. we'll then we'll jam out at the end. All right, Lee. So I've, uh, I've as you can see here, I've uh, swapped to a clarinet. And uh, I've gone into a Super Crunch. I've gone to an oversized 4x12 cabinet with a ribbon microphone, and you get a bit of rock. I mean, that's cool. That sounds good. good. Well, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. I mean, and that's free. So you, when you buy one of these, you get all of this for free. Yeah. Which I think is really cool. Yeah. You know. Okay, well look, so at some point in the future we should really do a shootout of, of amps that you can buy between sort of 100 and 200 pounds because um, I'm sure that, you know, it's a, it, if you don't know what you're buying and you, perhaps this is going to be your first or your second guitar amplifier or something like that, you probably yeah. need some guidance because, you know, there's, yeah. there's amps from Marshall and Blackstar and Vox and Fender and yeah. um, Boss and... And, and what do you I'm need? Sure Would you need Bluetooth? Do you need uh, something that? You know, do you need the whole, you know, uh, on-screen thingy, or do you not need what? You know. I kind of like that Blackstar are thinking along the lines of live streaming. I've kind of, you know, I'm kind of thinking it's like maybe yeah. for like dinosaurs like us, it's kind of, you know, oh, I, I live stream, but it it kind of feels like that could be the sort of. But it is. But people are know, sitting it's at a home, thing, isn't it? People right? are sitting at home a lot, you know, mm. and they are. They, you know, maybe, maybe even the thing of, uh, you know, that uh, the program that my father-in-law uses, the uh, Jamulus. Yes. Where, for instance, you have to have a guitar, and then you have to have an uh, interface, and then you have to have, you know, you amp into there so and that stuff. You think straight you could out potentially of come straight out yeah. of here. But then again, I don't know how the microphone situation would work. Yeah. But it's basically a community where you can go on and jam. You yeah. know, and he's isolated at home, and you sit there and you jam with your friends all over the world. For free, yeah. and the latency is really good, but you need something like this, and that's could potentially yeah. that's work. That's kind of cool, isn't that. it? Yeah. I mean, I watch a lot of live streams, but in fairness, none of them have really got any guitars or anything like that, no. and they're really expensive once you subscribe to all the good ones. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, everybody? What are you going to do? I feel like the 10 needs some love, so it in does. the jam out, I'm going to use the Diddy one, um, and you can all see what that sounds You're used like. To Diddy ones. Uh, cool, right? Thank links you very below. much for watching. Yeah, links below. Um, like, subscribe. Mm -hmm.